<laughs> right, hello. You join us today at Diggers Lake in Devon. We've travelled about two hours to get here. No introduction needed, we all know Chris. Um, we're here for 48 hours till Sunday. Apparently it's going to be a bit of a wet weekend as well. So um, that'll be fun. But um, lovely looking lake. You fished here before, haven't you? Yeah, I've probably been here about half a dozen times now. It's quite a hard lake. It's, it's kind of a low stock lake. The whole lake itself is set up a bit like a, a maze. There's islands, channels, cull gullies, yeah, cut throughs. It's a fishy water, isn't it? It'd be lovely yeah. in the summer. But it's the first time I fished it, and Mark's fishing the swim up. That's a friend of Chris's Yeah, one of as my well. mates is here, Mark. So there's three of us, so a bit of a social as well. So um, I'm going to get the rods out, um, and um, I'll go for all that with you later, what we're doing. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll get one out. And um, I've caught from this swim before. Yeah, well, that's not hard, is it, for you? <laughs> what, what, how big was that in between those two trees, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, under, under them trees I've caught from before. Yeah, I'm definitely putting one out there, one down the margins. And don't want to go one down the margin that way as well. But I'll show you all that later. But um, in the meantime, let's get fishing. Right, finally got all the rods out. Um, it's uh, 20 to 3 now. I'll probably reel them in just before dark and check them all. I got one on worm, one on maggot, and one on may, um, sweet corn. I've uh, got two artificial uh, sweet corns popped up. Um, I thought I'm going to go back to the old school and me match days and uh, it's a hard water anyway, it's really, it is quite hard water so I thought I'm going to try something different. Everyone probably comes down and uses boilies and that and I thought oh, I'll give it a go on the old garden worm and maggot. See how we go, one on corn. So um, I'll show you what I'm fishing them in a minute and uh, yeah hopefully we'll we get one out. I think we'll do some more rain later so uh, it's going to make it interesting. But um, yeah, we're fishing. That's all that matters, isn't it? Right. My worm rod is right over here underneath, between, between those two trees there. It's just there, about probably two foot off the bank. Just there. And I've actually gone on the edge of these reeds here. Can't go down those margins, obviously, because of um, all of that shrubbery and that there. So, uh, Going onto that creek just there, not where those old dead reeds are. And then my corn rod, that's my maggot. My corn rod is 10 metres down there, right into the margins. Um, there's a cross over there. Raven, Barton. There's a spy on him one night in his bivvy. Right, well, good morning. It's Saturday morning. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Quite fresh. Bit of a cold night. Had a couple of bleeps last night, but I think they were just lying. There's one on the worm and one on the maggot. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reel my rods in, go to the little boy's room, and um, I'm going to get some house pellet because they've got a machine over there that um, you put some money in and it gives you some pellet. So I'm going to do that and then when I come back, I'm going to get my rods back out ready for the day and um, go from there. But yeah, very quiet night all round. Chris never caught anything, nor has Mark, so um, 
yeah, we'll go from there and uh, see what the day brings. But looks like it's going to be a nice day. We're meant to be torrential rain uh, at 2 o'clock tomorrow morning coming in. Um, and it's in all day tomorrow, so it'll be a bit of a wet pack up, I think. But um, hopefully we get one out today, tonight. We'll see how it goes. So, speak to you soon. Crumpet for breakfast. Oh, there's nothing better than a bit of crumpet for breakfast. I like, oh, a bacon I, sandwich. I like I like three bits of crumpet for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Man over my own heart. Cheese and marmite's quite nice on them. Uh, cheese and marmite sandwiches. <laughs> no thanks. So nothing in the night, mate. No, quite night. Not even a single bleep on my new Delkin. I think they're broken. I can, I can order that for you. No, they're not broken, mate. Oh, the fish must be broken then. Yeah. <laughs> so, nothing at all then, no? No. Oh, well, not. Right, well, I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, thanks for the warning. That's okay. Right, this is our Chris and De Darren's hint and tips. My my tip. All right, go on your tip. <laughs> well, hey guys, uh, you know this time of year, your uh, gas can struggle to burn. You know when you when it's freezing out, you, the cans themselves get cold. That struggles to kind of. Um, I think the gas condensates in the can and then it struggles to burn. Well, you can see, I've got my gas can stood in a little tub there and what I'll do is um, while it's just a low flame and I'll warm a little bit of water first which we've already done in Blue Peter fashion <laughs> then I'll put a little bit of that warm water into said tub not a lot probably only about a centimetre and then you can see it's warmed the can up sufficiently now to get a full burn on your gas. And there is your handy Andy hints and tips of the day. Do -do 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 -do. Right, and user is four, looks pretty cool up underneath, put your pound in the slot, and you get your pellet out, pellet out. That's kind of cool. Right, these are the three rigs I'm using. I'm using corn on one, just popped up. Three artificial corns. On the other one, I'm using maggot on a quarter, a quarter clip, the maggot clip, and the old faithful maggots on another clip. Three ounce lead, which will come off as soon as I uh, get a run, hopefully. And that's my three rigs that I'm using. All the same lead clips. Um, three different plates, but I'm going back to sort of natural tactics with a worm and maggot. Um, so there's a lot of people come down here and use boilies and that, so I thought oh, I'll try something different and see where we go, see what happens from there. Right, in this one, this is the worm one, there's my bait, I've got um, some hemp and some sweet corn, loads of chopped worm, 
and just a tiny sprinkle of the house pellet, like I say, not a lot of bait, be a good hand for in there. Um, so obviously this time of year we don't put too much out. Um, we'll go from there. Right, and in my maggot one, which is just here, I'm using probably a good handful of live maggot and probably a handful of dead maggot. Um, that's what I fish with a lot in my matches, so um, I thought I'd try it with the carping because obviously the dead maggots are good on the bottom, they don't wriggle off like the live ones and it gives them a bit of feed to eat. So um, I'm just going to put some hemp on the top of that as well and that one's ready to go out. There's two rainbows in there. Right, well, it's three o'clock now, so it'll be dark in an hour. Um, nothing at all. Yeah, Chris hasn't had anything mark out. I think I think one bloke's caught um, a 16 pounder on the far bank last night, but I think that's the only fish that's come out. Um, but it's very cold, it's very chilly and damp and horrible, but that's this time of the year for you, isn't it? But, uh, no, nothing yet. I thought I might get one out on the old maggot or worm, but um, I still might yet. But nothing yet. So um, I think we'll have a bit of a social tonight and a barbecue. So um, the rods will be coming in and then put them back out before we go to bed. We'll go from there. But other than that, it's very still. As you can see, the water's just absolutely dead still. Not, not nothing moving, nothing. So um, that's fishing for you, isn't it? But well. We've got all night tonight and we've got to be off the lake by 12 tomorrow because you've booked like a, a 24 hour slot from 12 we booked from 12 o'clock uh friday obviously saturday and sunday so we've got to be off but that's a good thing because um it's meant to be heavy, really heavy rain tonight it dies off at nine o'clock in the morning till 12 in the afternoon and then it's really heavy again so we've got that three hour window so we'll start packing up then um but yeah other than that We'll see how we go. Hopefully we get one out. That would be nice. Even if even any of us catch one, it would be nice just to see a fish on the bank. But um, that's why they call it fishing and not catching, isn't it? <laughs> Speak to you soon. Right, well, it's ten past five and absolute pitch black. And as you can see, it's bloody freezing. I've got me from on top of me bivvy and it's actually saying it's minus one, which um, I can sort of uh, understand because that temperature's dropped right down. As you can see, I've got my pretty little bivvy lights up because it's Christmas. Just getting me swim ready because um, Chris is going to be coming over with Barbie soon. And uh, even though it's freezing cold and we must be mad, we're gonna have a bit of a barbecue. 
get some nice hot food inside us and then uh, get the sack. I've just done me, me uh, worm and maggot rod again. I'm leaving me corn one out because that's obviously on artificial bake, so I know that's going to be good. But I just wanted to check me put new fresh worms and maggots on. But uh, yeah, so uh, we're living the dream at the moment and um, see the frost forming on top of me bivvy already. I think it's going to be uh, a bit of a frosty evening tonight. But hopefully we still might might be in chance for fish or uh, this temperature drop might have uh, sort of finished off but we'll see how we go and we'll go from there so um, until Chris comes over his barbie see you soon right wow it's Sunday morning half nine absolutely poured down last night all night torrential rain and really windy totally different than um, we went to bed about 10 o'clock and it was minus, um, temperatures were minus, um, it's quite mild now um, and the rain, my god, just did not stop all night. So everything's soaked, usual, horrible pack up, but um, looks like that after nine now, we've got to be off the lake by um, 12, so I'm going to have some breakfast, slowly pack everything up, I've started already, I've got my bed chair and all that packed up, and then um, that'll be it. But uh, Unless I catch her in the next couple of hours, we'll go from there. But we'll see. But water's still out, so I've still got a chance. Um, like I said, just going to slowly pack everything up. And then, uh, so I've got to keep it in my bivvy because it's going to pour down rain again soon. So pack it all up in there and then ship it across in the barrow once it's all, um, all sorted out. But like I said, we've got to be off by 12. So um, if I don't catch her in the next two hours, I'll speak to you when we're leaving. Right, that's the end of our 48 hours of diggers. Is it right, right or left, right? L right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I went left when he said right. <laughs> On the way, uh, got lost. But anyway, that's the different story. Um, yeah. Should, should we hear that story? No. What? No. What? The bit where we come to a roundabout and I said right and you went left? Yeah. <laughs> I went my right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. that was on the way here. On the way home, different story. But anyway, um, another 20, 48 hours diggers, unfortunately, none of us caught. Mind you, the weather was really against us, wasn't it? Not, not, not well, calling I that. I would say a... not so much the weather. I'd say the lake itself was against yeah, us hard... because of. Because... Well, it's a hard lake anyway. But I don't know if you've said to your viewers yet about the work that's no, I happened haven't. No, recently. No, no, I haven't. No. But yeah, the the lake recently has been drained, desilted. Uh, they've done a lot of cutting out work, a lot of bit of digging out work. Normally, you've got a crystal clear lake. At the moment, it's really murky, really coloured up and they've lined it after they reflooded it and um it's probably just not the fish for six to be fair yeah, and that's our excuse yeah. <laughs> yeah but on a personal note i'd like to say thank you very much to chris because the last few months of my fishing has been fantastic so well, even, hopefully even um, i don't care about playing it's not all about fit catching sometimes is it? it's <laughs> all about the social and um it's been really good this year this end of the year so hopefully next year we'll have a lot more adventures together um but in the meantime, thank you very much for that, Chris. I really appreciate your company. You're a good crack, real good laugh, make the fishing worthwhile. Oh, so thanks, mate. that's all right. Oh, oh social distancing. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's all right. We've already been top of tailing in your bivvy. That's we? right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. we're going to get off home now. Should we wrap, got this, all... wrap this up because you're steaming up. I know. I'm getting all foggy. We've got a good couple of hours drive. So um, till the next one, I probably won't be fishing before. So everyone have a good Christmas and um, see you in the new year. Goodbye. Au revoir. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>